welcome to part two of the Q and A. Um, picking up right where I left off, so you've not missed a thing. Right then, uh, question one. Nathan the train spotter. My question: Would you come to Rainham in Kent if so? Could we do a collab as I live co collab a collab as I live nearby? But it would be have to be on a weekend. Nathan the train spotter. Um, yeah, I'm sh I'm sure at some stage. I'm sure at some stage I, I can go there. I'm not sure when, but I can give it a go. Eight oh one two eighteen. Uh, Michael Russell. My name is Michael Russell. I would like a shout out, and my question is: What is your favourite train station on the West Coast Main Line and the Midland Main Line? Well, that's your shout out. Favourite station on the West Coast Main Line would have to be um, either Carlisle or Preston. Um, on the Midland Main Line, um, I do like Leicester. That could be Leicester. Uh, right. Come on. Right, the train spotter. Hey, Tonight nine two two. Always enjoyed your videos and humour. My questions are: Have you ever been interested to work on the railway? What would it be and why? Um, yeah, I've always been interested to, to work on there. Um, always wanted to be a train driver, but just never got round to it. Uh, would you do uh, <laughs> Would you do Clapham Junction when Southwestern Railway and Southern aren't on strike? <sighs> when aren't they on strike? They're always on strike, aren't they? I thought, I thought that was the whole point of their companies. They they just make an appearance and they're on strike. I've been liking a few occasions when I've been there. Three. Have there been people getting you confused... Sorry. Has there been people giving you a confused expression when you are train spotting? Not so much a confused expression, but more so people sort of staring at me rather gormlessly going, What's he doing? Well, I'm holding a tablet, pointing at a train, and chatting away. Work it out. Uh... And what's this? And has anyone noticed when he sees the southern service on the southern part of the West Coast Mountain, he says a double load of 377 is off to Clapham Junction when it should be East Croydon? Um, it's funny you should say that, but uh, late when I was doing those, they weren't running to East Croydon. They would go to Clapham and then terminate to Clapham. They weren't actually running all the way to East Croydon. G Highland Chieftain. What got you into railways and YouTube? What is the future for your channel? Um, well, the future for the channel I answered in part one. Uh, got me into railways. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to go to my grandparents every summer, and they lived next to the West Coast Main Line. Uh, and obviously, you know, you had Thomas the Tank Engine and everything else around then, when it was proper Thomas the Tank Engine, not this modern trosh to see. Oh, cross country turbo star. One seventy six three eight. Um, yeah, so I'd, I'd see the railways every single day from my grandparents. Um, I'd go onto the platform and, and look at them. And it's sort of, sort, of, sort of getting me hooked ever and then. And then getting into YouTube. Um, well, I got a Samsung Galaxy tablet years ago now. And I thought, oh, it's got a camera function on it. Or oh, I might try a dab hand at, at filming. So I did a couple of films to start with, you know, just silent ones. So all we saw was the trains. And you could hear the trains, but you couldn't hear me talking. Um, and I thought one day, you know what, I'll try me dab hand at commentary. And it was a... It was a car crash at first, it really was. But, it's been getting better. What have we here? Oh, Grand Central Atlanta. Uh, Finnish trains, when is the next time you can go to Litchfield Trent Valley since you've got good services if you go on the right day? Love the content, keep it up. Well, thank you very much. Um, I don't know, I've, I've been there, what, twice? I think I've been there twice. Um, I will go back at some point. I'm just not entirely sure when that will be. Uh, Preservation 29. I know what you're about to... Really? 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 I know who you are. Really? Good morning. Please can you go to all day trains at Stourbridge Town. Many thanks. Uh, and I'll tell you that in person. No. In fact, I have told you many times before. I'll tell you again. No. Uh, Preservation 29 again. What's your favourite one-off livery on a locomotive? Um... It's, I don't know, it's, that's a difficult one, because there's been, there has actually, that's a bloody good question to be fair. Um, I actually, I really don't know, because there's been so many, you know, stunning liveries that have been whacked onto logos. I can't really say I have a, a particular favourite, because they, they all have stood out in their own unique rights. But that is a, that is a very, very, very good question. Let's drop my phone as well. Uh, Ice Gamer, hey there, what would you say... To an aspiring creator like me trying to train spot. Well, 
go to a bridge, a tracksuit location or a station that you're comfortable with and familiar with, um, get the camera out and just start filming. Try and make it unique to yourself. Um, don't try and copy the styles of other content creators. Um, if you want to try and attract people, you got you have to make something stand out. There has to be something about the things you do that want to make people come back. Uh, if you try and copy the work of somebody else, um, it might work for the first few videos that you do, but after that you might find yourself struggling. 225, sir. I couldn't see what that DVT was because the real number had been scraped off. Uh, Joshua Platt, uh, what inspired you to film videos on YouTube, and how long have you been like, and how long have you liked filming trains for, and why? Um, well, the inspiration actually came from another YouTuber, um, Ian Paul. Um, I used to watch his videos uh, religiously, and he did commentary in his videos. Contrary to what I just said, make stuff your own, but. I liked what he did, um, so I thought, I'll try it and add my own flair. Um, so I added my own unique flair of commentary to these videos, then it's worked. Um, I've, liked to film, oh, I've, I've liked trains for years, but I've been filming them for what, six years now, give or take? And Ham Shackleton, to make sure you get round to it, yeah, thank you. Uh, Axe Transporter HD. Uh, hello, Joe. I make question one. What's your favourite freight livery? Um, I quite like GBRF. Two. Do you like any fast food places? If so, what is your favourite? Bit of a random question, I know. Eh. Burger King. Got to be Burger King all day long. XL bacon double cheeseburger. Mwah. J Drabes one. Hello, Jared. First of all, loving the beard and thanks for being inspiration to me. My questions are: beard. Everyone loves the beard. It's the James Hetfield. Oddly enough, I was actually singing to Metallica on the way up here. Question one, how's life? Yeah, can't complain. I'd like to, but no one would listen. Uh, two, if you was to buy a Biomo train, what would it be? Um, problem is there's not that many running around at the moment, so I'd have to go one of the 800 series, so I've not got much to go on. Two, if you was to, sorry, three, do you, if you do, do what? Let's try again. Do you own a Class 90 model? If so, what livery? Um, oh god, I did, I used to, I don't, know if I, I don't actually think I did, I think I sold it, um, but I will be actually getting some more in the Virgin Trains colour scheme. Uh, four, will you go to London Liverpool Street one day? Cheers, J Drabes and the bus train spotter. That's a mouthful. Um, London Liverpool Street. I've tried, I tried once before and um, it was a, it was a mess. Um, yeah, the, the woman who I asked if I could go and do it. She was a very defensive and um, very, pretty much told me to leave. Uh, Sean Willis, uh, fave station to film at? Um, I'll answer this in part one, really. I've not really got a favourite overall station to film at, so you'd, you'd probably have to be a little bit more specific on that one, I'm afraid, my good man. Uh, there's another junk one. This can go away. Right. Ethan Byrne, hi to Nerds of Two. hope you're well, I am, thank you, hope you're doing well too. Uh, I've got a few questions, that's alright. What if it isn't though? What if it isn't alright? You'd be in trouble then, won't you? Uh, come on, what livery do you think suits the 800s best? Great Western Railway or Transpennine? Transpennine by a country mile. Uh, two, what's your favourite mainline to film on? Mm, going by the amount of videos I do, it's probably the West Coast. Three, what's your favourite freight locomotive? Um, it's a toss-up between the 68 and the 70. 37 and 70. Why not? I'll, th I'll throw three in there. Throw three into the ring. Four. Could you film at Chesterfield? One day. One day I will. Chloe Allen? When are you going to trim your beard? Well, I had a shave around the sides, and I've had a little bit of a, a trim up around the uh, the old facial fuzz. But I'm not getting rid of all this. Now, this is me. This is, this is all me, this is. Uh, Aidan Caulfield. Hi, are you going on? I have no idea if I'm going on. I'm going on this. Don't know about anything else. Uh, right. Shawnee boy. Hi, Jared. Hope you keep them well, buddy. On the Southwestern Mail Line, the 455 units were about, does it say 455? Because when I took a close look at the front of them, the number just starts with the 5, and then the rest 
numbers and the rest of the numbers can't seem to say where it says 455 kind of thing. Uh, love the Southwestern Mail Line. We'll be doing more eventually on the line, eventually when you have time, etc. in your busy schedule. Also, I'd love to learn a little bit more about the Southeastern Main Line as well, because some trains go to London Victoria and some go to London Charing Cross. More of the route kind of is what I'm on about. Where does the Southeastern Main Line start and go run to etc. etc. Many thanks for your time. Appreciate it, dude. Um, right, for four, five, five, so what you need to do, uh, in between the, at the ends of each carriage, uh, it has the specifications for the train. So what you need to do is look where that big white box is and it will say class 455. That's how you find out. In terms of where the South Eastern Main Line starts, runs to, goes, we've got London Victoria and London Charing Cross, London Bridge. Um, basically, London Bridge is a through and a terminus. Um, then it runs to the likes of, um, you know, Gillingham in Kent. Uh, it runs to Folkestone, Dover, Canterbury, Margate, Ashford. Um, then you've got um, what, Tom Bridge is another one. Uh, yeah, there's... Um, it's actually a, it's a vast, vast network. Um, I think really your best bet for trying to find information in regards to that one is actually look at a detailed route map that South Eastern have. That will give you a much, much better understanding of really how vast um, their network truly is. Um, and uh, right, UK trains France 390 question, will you ever go back to South Kenton? And what station is your favourite? South Kenton? Definitely will go back there. In terms of favourite station, you'd have to be a little bit more specific on that one, I'm afraid. Uh, Tristan Beck, do you choose your own thumbnails? Sometimes yes, and other times it's just YouTube picks one off at random, and I go, yeah, I like it. I can hear something. It's a 66, I can hear it. Six seven five four Northampton Saints, my local rugby team. Not entirely hauling fresh air, but kind of close. Um, Ryan Jeffries, have you ever been to High Speed 1? And if so, can you go back and film it again? Yes, I've been to Raynham uh, in the London borough of High Speed 1, and I've been to Ashford International and Ebbsfleet International and Stratford International. I'll go back there again, I shall. Journeys of James, where do you get your humour in train spotting videos from, and how do you make it so funny? Um, it's not really a case of trying to, it's, I guess it kind of just happens. If you try to be funny, chances are something won't be entertaining. But I, it's just my sense of humour. I mean, I've got a dry sense of humour as it is. I'm sure many of you have probably noticed this. Um, so it's difficult to really say. I kind of just make things up as I go along. And every now and again, I throw sort of whimsical little whims in there. And it's also my... It's my use and understanding of the English language as well. I can utilise certain words to go into particular sentences, and it just adds that additional humour. Um, yeah, it's something like I don't really try to be funny. I, I just, I guess I just am. I'm just a, a, a humorous person when I'm doing a little chatting because I'll, you know, I'll, I'll see something and just pick it out, and I'll, I'll just latch onto that. You know, I'll see someone doing something, and I'll just comment on what they're doing. You know, people watching is something I do. You know, all the people that have gone past me today, I have a, qu I have a quick little glance at them, and, you know, I'll just pick off something, and I can just chat away about it. It's the same with trains. You know, I'll see something on, on the railways that just catches my eye, and I'll just start chatting away about it, and, you know, I'll change the tone of my voice. I'll, I'll send it really high, or I can go really low, or I can do anything. Facial expressions, hands everywhere, jumping up and down, pointing out, in name things that happen, like I had a butterfly around here earlier, I had a bumblebee go past there in the previous one. I've got a bird who's over there chirping around like an absolute good one. Um, so yeah, I, you know, I, I don't really sort of, I don't, I don't really know how I make it funny. It kind of just happens, I suppose. Ooh, Let me open the front door of the car here. Bear with me. Just have to stand up. There we go. Nope, that's made things worse. Hmm. It's amazing you can get cramped just by standing still. Hmm. 
Uh, right, so Trains Gaming, what's your favourite steam locomotive? Um, it would have to be 92 Squadron um, that resides on the Nam Valley Railway because I've driven it. So it, that, that would be that. Favourite Heritage Railway? Um, I love the Severn Valley. Absolutely adore the Severn Valley. Uh, when do you plan to go to Heritage Railways in the near future? Um, well, whenever there's a gala, I'll try and be there. Obviously, I can't go to all of them because some of them are just too far away. And when is your what is your favourite station to film at on the West Coast Main Line? It's a toss-up between Carlisle and Preston. I think Preston probably just edges it. Uh, JBW456, hello, I just finished watching your Model Railway series and really enjoyed it. I was wondering if you have any plans to bring it back as I would love to see Model Railway videos make a return. Anyway, keep up with the great videos. It's funny you should mention that actually, because um, I'm a part of the Mod Milton Keynes Model Railway Society and we've been chatting for quite some time about um, filming uh, some more running sessions or even themed galas. We will get that done at some point. Massive hand, massive hand. We will get that done at some point and I have no idea what that was by the way. <laughs> So um, yeah, we will get that. We will get that sorted. I assure you. So I'll stand this side so you can see the railway line when things turn up. Uh, Ziggy Zigster. I said that without even messing up my words. I'm impressed. Uh, can you do Forest Hill and New Cross Gate and London Bridge? Um, I can give them a go. Uh, Kenny James Train of Stobart Spotter. What is the difference between a 158 and a 159? Um, pff, off the top of my head, I'm really not too sure. I'd have to do some um, uh, research work into that one, but I imagine the differences are only, you know, ever so subtle. Uh, Max Broadhurst, hello Jared, loving the content. My question is, will you ever come to Bister Village Station? It's funny you should mention that, because on the day of recording, I was actually in Bister Village the day before this, having a little butchers around the, around the, uh, around there and, you know, picking up a few bits. I won't ever film there, because there just isn't the variety in traffic. I'll be catching, what? One six eight the entire time. Uh, the level crossing just to the north of the station always causes traffic chaos. I'm not surprised. Uh, right, so Christian Scott's got a few questions for you. Question one. Uh, I'll stand to face this. It's much more professional, isn't it? I'll just move that back. Actually, I can shut the door now. It's all good. Jobs are good. Right then. Uh, where was I? So, uh, right, what is the best train you've ever travelled on in terms of how comfortable it is and how pleasant the ride was? Um, right, best train I've ever travelled on was definitely uh, the one of the, the Euro city services in Europe when I went from Munich to Salzburg. Can't beat it. Another Azuma. Courtesy of 800 208. Uh, two, if you're allowed to make a TSC to run in the UK, what mainline would your company run on and what trains would you use? Um, I actually answered that one in the previous um, in, the, in the previous video in regards to that one, so there you go. And thoughts on France, Grand Slam and the Six Nations? As much as it pains me as an Englishman to say this, the French played outstanding rugby. It was painful to witness when we played them. But then again, we actually, to be fair, we, we gave them a, a a good run for their money. I, I can't. I'm not just saying it just because I'm English and the England team are you know supposed to do well. We we, we gave the French a a good run for their money. All I will say is that those of you who did watch the Wales Italy game, I have never shouted so much for the Italians to win. Watching the Italians beat the Welsh was absolutely beautiful to witness. It really was. Uh, right, oh, and uh, Christian Scott's again. Also, will you ever return to the Southampton Central or send an E? Um, Southampton Central is a bit of a weird one because I, I went there last year and the station staff were. They were, they were a bit funny. Send an E? Yeah, possibly. I can give it a go. Uh, MSA, when will you do live streams of Train Simulator? Um, do you know, to be honest with you, I'm probably never going to. Um, it, it just, whilst it was nice to, to give the, con the the channel some content, I don't actually think I'm ever going to do it again. I said I would, but I don't think I will. Um, I think that that ship has unfortunately set sail. Uh, Chris Johnson, how many years have you done train spotting, and what is your favourite busy train station? I've been, if you. Not, if you don't mean by filming, I've been transporting my entire life. Um, something I've always done. Um, 
favourite busy train station? Um, well, obviously Clapham's a, it's up there, Preston's up there, uh, York, Peterborough, Milton Keynes, um, Crewe, that's another one. And, oh, I've got a little, there's a bug, just uh, about here, on the uh, roof of the car. Oops, he's just staring at me. I've made a friend. And I can hear a train. It's a one two oh two. Uh, Eddington Railroading. Will you ever come to the US? What is your favourite spot to watch trains? Can you do a video at London Bridge Station? Yes, I will come to the US to do some filming. I want to go onto on uh, the North East Corridor and do some filming along there. Uh, favourite spot to watch trains? Um, I'd have to actually probably say that it's it's probably bridges. I do like filming from a bridge. And London Bridge Station, I will get round to that at some point. Uh, TPE Sam, will you consider doing Sheffield and Doncaster again? Certainly. Uh, right, that can go away because I don't need that one either. Uh, JDK. Well, I've got a bit of an essay here. Right, yo dude, yo. Uh, when you do these q &A videos, do you think as time goes on you'll be unable to do them as there will end up being just too many answers and there being 10 plus video parts? And yes, I understand I'm adding to that possibility by asking, but you, sir, have a bliss weekend. Uh, and if possible, come and film at Brandon Station in Suffolk. Not a serious amount, not a, sorry, not a serious amount of services, but it would be nice if you could just do once. And if possible, let me know a date, and I'll buy your pint. Um, very, very good question. Um, in terms of coming down, yes, because I'm getting a pint. So you know, bribe me with beer, and I'm, you know, I'm quite content. You know. Um, yeah, in terms of doing these, um, it will probably get to the point where. I'd have to start selecting questions rather than doing every single one because yeah, there, there would be too many. It's actually getting to that part already where there's a lot to try and get through at any one point. Hey, pooch. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's. I could probably do a few more of these um, where I can read off everything. Um, it will get to the point though where I will have to. Um, start selecting questions to, to answer rather than going through all of them. So it's a very, very good question. Uh, right. Roberts Trains NSW. I've got five questions. Uh, one, what is your favourite DMU from the five below? 156, 150, 158, 195, 185. Uh, love the 156. Two, what is your favourite high-speed train from the three below? 800, 390, 225. Ooh, that's an evil question. Um... I love the 225s. It's going to have to be them. Uh, three, what do you think of the 730s? Uh, they look good. Four, favourite from the Desiro, 350 or 450, 385 or 360. 350 and 450 are pretty much, well, they're, they're the same thing, basically. They are the same, just the 450's got a shoe, the 350 is a pantograph. Um, 360? Yeah, I don't know. It's a funny one, that one. They're not the most comfortable trying to travel on the 385s. They've got a unique style. So, let's go with the 385. And 5, really For a Russia film, yes. Uh, Max Cox. Hi from Sydney, Australia. Hello. Connor George. Great content this year. As always, what is your favourite station last year? Um... Well, actually, it was actually last year, sorry. Was it last year this year I filmed a car? I can't remember. Wow, my memory is atrocious. From last year. Last year was a mess. Um, I can hear a train coming. Um, Clapham Junction. There goes 800 202. Uh, right, Lynn Larkins. Uh, hi, Senator. Loving your videos. Kieran's questions are one. I have just reformed British Rail. You are in charge of money. Sorry, you are in charge. Money is no object. What would you bring back and why? Um, well, a lot of the heritage railways, um, I would have brought them back into full main on operation. But, and here's, here's the clever thing, um, if this was a possibility, all the steam locos that were scrapped, I would have them 
well, I'd, I'd have them all saved, every single one, every single one brought back. So all the main lines still run around as you would, you know, with the Zoomers and what have you doing the business. Now the Heritage Railways, I would have them brought back to mainline status, except they'd be running with the Heritage Rolling Stock. So Mark 1s, Mark 2s, all the various little freight that would run around. That's another one, the freight. I would change, I'd have it so the former freight yards and sidings that were that had been torn up, I'd bring them back, I'd reinstate the lot. Two, not train related, sorry. What? Oh yeah. Uh, I'm so confused. Two is not train related. Then, oh, I see. Sorry, I was getting myself confused. Right, not train related. I have three brothers. Do you have any brothers or sisters? No. Uh, right. Uh, Amanda Hilton, given free reign, what would you do to change the railways? Realistic and then money, no object. Well, I kind of actually just answered that one in the, in the previous question, you know, the sort of things I'd do. I'd, I'd reinstate a lot of the, the former lines, I'd bring a lot of the old goods yards back. Um, I would actually try and take a lot more th stuff off the road. What they do in, in Switzerland, I think, is, is fantastic. They have this um, on the, the, the Lurchberg line, um, where they, basically, it's, it's their version of a channel tunnel, essentially. The lorries get put onto, uh, on, onto truck carriages then get taken through a mountain, come out the other side, where the roads can't go. I do something similar here. So let's say you're, you, you've got a haulage firm up in Scotland and you have regular drops to make down in the south of England. So what I'd do, I'd have a terminal up in, let's go to Moss End for argument's sake. So you drive to Moss End, you, pop onto the, you drive onto the train at Moss End, it takes you down to another terminal, say in, let's go to London. It's got a terminal in London. It, you can hop off at, at London or um, you can stay on and it takes you to another terminal in Bristol or Norwich or wherever. Um, Ash behind the camera. Um, right. Hey, to know, to know, tier two. Have you ever visited Acton Mainline Station and would you ever do a series of miniature railways in the UK? Um, miniature railways in the UK? I don't think there's enough to warrant doing it. It's a very good question. I just don't think there's enough uh, need for it. Um, have you ever visited Acton Mainline? Uh, no, but I will do. Uh, Koshik Gosh, do you think Hyspeed 2 is necessary and when is the pace of train finally going? Well, the pace is already gone. Um, Hyspeed 2 is necessary? <laughs> Not really. 4K Bacon, I'm in love. Uh, if you had a blank check to spend on the UK Rail Network, what part of the railway infrastructure would you invest and improve first? Well, I kind of already answered that one. Luca Train Spotting. Hi, Tenedo. I've been a fan of yours for three years and I love your videos. I have two questions. What is your favourite freight locomotive and what is your favourite electric locomotive? Electric loco is a class 92. Freight is a 37 or a 68. Uh, right, Aviano 72. Hi, yes, got one. Jolly good. Will you do some more games like Train Sim or better Transport Pooper 2? Transport Pooper 2, possibly. It's up in the air at the moment. Uh, maybe start a second games channel for that. Uh, you're really relaxing to watch play those games, but I do like your train vids and humour. I won't start up a second channel, I'm afraid. It'll all have to be on on the, on the one, on, on, on this channel. Uh, of course, you gosh, do you like 66s? Why they're so common, especially for freight purposes? Is it because of their reliability or tone capacity? Both. Chris at Railway, hello to London to you too. Do you think LNR should do London to Scarborough services in the future? What's your favourite livery on 37s? Uh, 30, on the 37s, it would be the regional railways delivery. Um, London to Scarborough, yeah, why not? Uh, Joshua Bottle, I have a question. What there's a train sim I play on a game called Roblox, and the train sim is called Stepford County Railway. It's a really fun game, so please do try it. I've looked at it, not my cup of tea, I'm afraid. Scott Whittingham, if you were to bring back the train carriages, what would it be and why? I'd bring back Mark II's. I really love Mark II's. Air-conditioned Mark II's. James Chorley. Hi, Tornado. Are you going to the Seven Valley Railway Steam Gala in April? I am. Game out. Go away, you. Uh, Game out. Cash. Would you consider revisiting some of the old 2016 West Coast, West Coast mainline stations between New Street and Wolverhampton, including Smithwick, Dalton Bridge, High Level? Uh, yeah. Why not? Give it a go. Samuel Dawkins. I have two questions. Are you sad the 91s are leaving the East Coast mainline soon? Um, it will be a shame to see them go, you know, they're, they're the workhorse of the East Coast Main Line. It, it will be a shame when they do finally leave. What makes 9111 your favourite 91? 
it's a memorial to those that have fallen. Triple three. Hi, Tenado. What is? What did it feel like when Bitten passed you in your first video? Um, it was great to see. The video was absolutely shocking because it was filmed with an old BlackBerry, so it was absolutely atrocious video quality. But um, yeah, it was nice to see it. Really nice to see it. Uh, Michelle Northern Lass. Um, I don't really know why you call me Barry, but I'm Barry apparently. Hi, Barry. I was just wondering if you had been in any. No, I'm not going to answer that question actually. Cause that's actually pretty daft. Yeah, some of these I won't answer, by the way, because I think they go onto the lines of crude. Much like that one I was just about to read off was crude, so I'm not going to say that one. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, Rainbow Smile. Will, hi, my lord. Hi, will you be sad to see the Avanti Voyages go? Do you know I actually will? I really will. Um, I know they're going to get a new lease of life for Cross Country, but it's going to be strange seeing them go. Uh, Joanne Taylor, any plans to come to Brighton? Uh, yep, I will go there. Uh, Professor Stephen Toop, trains or tunnels? Well, I'll let you answer that one, Chief. Um, <laughs> I love this name, Pooper Scooper. Hello, mate. How do you like the sound of, <clears throat> of the Class 350? Do I like the sound of the Class 350? Sorry. When they first entered service, I hated them. But now you, you kind of just get used to it, I suppose. Horizon F1, hi, Jared. Would you consider filming at Hereford and Worcester in the future? Yes, I would. Uh, right, I've got... Oh, my lord. Right, I've got... Mm, this is probably going to take me up my entire time with these questions here from uh, 2000 Trains. Speaking of trains, there's another one about to pass me in a moment now. Probably another Azuma. Eight oh three double oh two, courtesy of Lumo. There we go then. Right, so 2000 Trains. Hi, Tenedo. I have... Sorry, how have you been doing so far? Very well, thank you. Anyways, time for the big guns. One, are you still going to continue making train sim content? Afraid not. I'm now going to completely shelve that. Two. Azuma. Who's actually cleaning his windscreen. Oh, look! A pigeon! <laughs> 801206. So, yeah, look. Look. Hold on. I can't. There he is. Wait for it. And there. 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 Pigeon. I've got a pigeon! Um, sorry, yes, two. What do you think, uh, do you think the ride through the Seven Tunnel is quite bumpy when going into England from Wales? I'm asking this because as a uni student from Wales who has to travel back to London during the holidays, or visit Bristol during the term, the ride can be a bit aggressive, like a tube train, both on IET's and the HST's castle sets. Now I travelled, actually, from Bristol to Cardiff on a castle set and a 165. And I don't think the journey's rough at all. I thought it was very smooth. Uh, three. In terms of music, do you not just do you like do you not just like but love Dragon Force? They are a real belter in terms of metal because when I listen to them, listen to their songs, i.e., Heroes of Our Time, Valley of the Damned, and Fury of the Storm, uh, it feels like I'm on the train giving. It feels like I'm on the train giving the ultimate beans as I swipe through dozens of stations and tackle sort of points in a swift manner. Their songs include crazy human solos and drum work, which both resembles the flat wheel on modern trains, or ecstatic chugging of the steam locomotive, as well as the thrilling point sounds. If anything, their songs are powerful enough to lead a concert of Mark III characters. I mean... I'll leave that one with you. Four. Have you listened to Miley Cyrus's interpretation of Metallica's Nothing Else Matters? If so, what do you think about it? Do you know, at first, because I obviously I, I know what the song meant, you know, James wrote that song for his girlfriend at the time. And I thought, you can't cover that song. Um, you just can't. Obviously, I, I saw that Robert Trujillo was the, the bassist on the cover version as well. Um, I hate to say it, it was actually very good. Five. Can you do a train spotting session at Swansea? Maybe. Six, an odd question, but do you think a Great Western Railway should do an express service to Birmingham via Reading, Oxford, Banbury, Leamington Spa, Coventry, Birmingham New Street, and Birmingham International? Fun fact, they used to. Not in its current guise, but back when it was Great Western, they used to. They used to go to Manchester. Seven, another odd one. What is your favourite anime? Beyblade. And, oops. Right, how are we doing? Actually, we've got some more time. Uh, Camp Faf, one. What is your opinion on the 701s coming to Southwestern Mainline soon? Yeah, it was always going to happen. Um, I'm sure they'll do well. 
Two, thoughts on the adventurous series in general? Yeah, I mean, I don't spend enough time with them, but I think they're nice enough. Uh, it would be sad to see 455s grow as I grew up and around them. Well, they've been around in the London suburbs for years now, so yeah, it will be a shame. Uh, bonus question, like I'm not to level here. Uh, are you planning to visit the Southwestern Mainline again anytime soon, specifically Sur Surbiton or Woking? Uh, I hadn't planned to as of yet, but I can. P.S. Love the witness in your content. Oh, thank you. Right. And, yeah, I've got time. You and Hetting. Hi, I love your vids. What do you think will happen when they run out of tops numbers? I'll have to make them four digits. I don't think they've all run out of tops numbers. I think that they're just going to make them up as they go along, quite frankly. Uh, bus and train boy, can you throw in Burrock upon Tweed? I can go there, but I can't throw it. It's a, it's a bloody big town, you know. I'd have to have, have a Wheatabix before that one. Uh, Ethan Anderson, not a question, but congrats on the 11k subscribers. Thank you ever so much. Uh, Fortnite Champion 221, what inspired you to make these videos? Um, well, as a YouTuber I used to watch, um, he did videos where he would not necessarily he would do commentary to the same extent as me, but he would do uh, commentary in his videos, and that's um, sort of got me going from there, really. And, uh, no, I've seen that one already. Uh, Mark Pierce, any trips to Liverpool Lime Street planned? Um, I will go back later this year. I think I tried um, earlier on in the year, and it was a bit of a mess. Binx's Buses and Trains. I have just started my own YouTube with train and buses. Is there any way to improve on it? Um, well, I, I've never looked at your channel, so I can't really say, but um, just keep plugging away, really. Um, keep the shot as still as possible. Um, try and focus just on one thing at a time. Um, don't uh, try and get anything too blurry. Um, if you're going to make them lengthy, then ensure that there's always something going on just to keep viewers um, enthralled. Alright, and I'll do one more and then I'll have to break into part three. Right, Alex Donald. Uh, hey, it's 922 How are you doing? Very well, thank you. I hope you're doing well yourself. Um, I've noticed that the long distance services or train rides usually have less carriages in the UK, unlike here in the US, like a TFW service from Manchester to Milford has two carriages. Why is that? Well, you've only got to look at the size comparisons, really, and remember that um, we're still running off really the old Victorian network. Um, some of the distances between that we have on our trains really aren't all that long, and also the passenger numbers don't warrant huge trains. Whereas if you look in the US, um, you've got trains that run from New York to Chicago, Chicago to Los Angeles, you know, massive, massive, thousands of miles, 2,000 plus mile journeys. Um, and their trains can be, what, 16, 17 cars long, but that includes a lot of sleeper cars in there as well. Um, I mean, even the, on the Northeast Corridor, you say you say long trains, but I've seen some bits of the Northeast Corridor, and some of your, you know, express trains hauled by those Seaman ACSs, they're only running about four or five cars, and even them don't actually have buffet cars in them, which I do find surprising. Um, and, yeah, I'll do Alex, I've got another from Alex Donald. Actually, I've got a few from Alex Donald, but I'll do another one. I heard the 730s have been replaced by 352s. Where would they go, and why are they getting replaced? What else are 730s are replacing? Um, the 730s are just replacing the, the 352s. Um, in terms of where the 352s are going to go, no one really knows. Um, I think it's Angel Trains own the 350s, and I'm not sure what the overall plans are with them. Um, but the 730s are just replacing the 352s at the moment. And I'll do one more from you. And this is Alex Arnold again. <coughs> uh, why is Crossrail taking so long to finish, and when is it supposed to be opened? Well, I'm bloody certain it was supposed to be opened um, a few years ago, but the. Well, you know, COVID happens, I'm rather scuppered that idea, but it ran tremendously over budget, and I think they're talking about trying to finish it this year, um, or at least one of the sections anyway. Whenever the full thing gets sorted, as anybody's guess. Right, have I got enough to... Oh, fiddlesticks. Have I got enough to answer this one? Uh, no, not enough time. Right, so I'll leave this one there. And after this one, I'll jump straight into part three, where I might be able to get the rest of them all finitoed. So thank you, everyone, for contributing so far. And, uh, well, the next lot of contributions that are going to be happening. So I'm going to have a quick drink.
and then jump into part three. So I shall see you all very shortly. Take care, guys. Goodbye.